Good morning and welcome back to St Mary's here in Newmarket. Last time I showed you a little bit about what goes on inside the church. We saw our service for the Feast of Candlemas. Well today I thought I'd show you what goes on outside the church and show you a little bit around the town here in Newmarket in Suffolk. Let me take you around and show you a little bit of the town. You can see here the wonderful green space that opens out in front of the church. It's well used and well loved by the community. You can see we're right at the heart of the community here with cars, horses, pedestrians going past at all hours of the day and night. It's wonderful to see people stop here and use the space that this offers and dwell in the peace and comfort that many say they receive from the church here. Unfortunately, given the vagaries of the history of the churches here in Newmarket, the church entrance is tucked away down this little path. I haven't spoken much about the history of the churches here in Newmarket, but suffice it to say for now, there are two, one on either side of the high street. St Mary's here on the north side and All Saints on the south. One was originally for Suffolk, ourselves, and All Saints was for Cambridgeshire. You can see here the old churchyard. Many of our gravestones were cleared to make space for that green area in front of the church and so they're tucked away there for those who wish to see them. Church Lane opens out onto the busy high street. You can see the church tucked away there at the back. It's a shame that there is no longer a church presence or at least a church building here on the high street. It's can be difficult for people to see where the church is ministering from and difficult for the church to spread its message. There is one place we'll see in a moment but first a nod to the racing community that was Hyperion one of Newmarket's recent famous horses a great racing horse and a great breeding horse. Newmarket is one of the only places in the world where racing, breeding and selling of horses happens all in the same place. It's wonderful to see that community and the various communities here in Newmarket coming together and the churches are one place where that happens well and we work to make that happen. You can see a wave mural up on the right hand side there. Those buildings were bombed during the war. That was originally one place where there was a church presence and the United Reformed Church once stood there. Now there is a cafe known as the Stable Cafe. I'm meeting somebody there shortly for coffee and for a chat. It's run by the Methodist Church and it's used by many different groups not only for meeting and greeting but for worship and for prayer. There's a community church who worship there on a Sunday at the moment. We use it for a cafe church on a Tuesday once a month. It's a chance for people to come to a more informal gathering, to pray together, to worship together and hopefully to draw others in as we show our love for Christ, our love for God. I just wanted to take you up the high street and show you some of the busyness here, perhaps more than you might expect for a town of this size. Some of the things we celebrate in Newmarket are obvious here. There's a memorial to Bill Tutt, one of Newmarket's more recent characters. He was a mathematician, a code breaker in the war and a great help to the war effort. We're coming to the end of the high street here as it opens out onto the Berry Road and heads towards East Anglia, towards Berry St Edmunds and really towards the rest of the diocese. We do feel out on a limb here a little bit. We're connected to the rest of Suffolk by a 500 yard strip of land and to leave Newmarket you really have to leave Suffolk and re-enter. That's the clock tower, one of the more famous landmarks and the end of the high street. Sorry, I would meant to finish that video up in the stable that I showed you along the high street there. But as usual I met somebody there that uh, I ended up talking to and it took longer than expected and then my guest who was coming to Newmarket to meet me arrived and so we're back here in the curatage finishing off this video. I hope you've seen a little bit of Newmarket, the town and the wonderful challenges and opportunities that it provides. There's a real feeling at the moment in Newmarket that 
We want the community to come together and to celebrate all that Newmarket has to offer, the racing community, but so much more than that as well. And so as churches, we're excited to be a part of that. And we hope that the fruits of that will be on show to you at some point in the near future. Until next time, the Lord be with you. Christ, whose glory fills the skies, fill you with his radiance and scatter the darkness from your path and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you this day and always. Amen.